In this series of video tutorials, we will learn how to implement SOAP Web Services with Spring Web Services. We will also learn how to use a free third-party tool, SOAP UI, to test our SOAP Web Service. SOAP is a protocol designed to exchange information. It is primarily based on XML documents over HTTP, but email and JMS can also be used. SOAP web services are based on a web services description language document, also known as a whistle, which is an XML contract that defines all the data and services offered by a given web service. The client and the server both use this contract as a basis for exchanging information and making remote procedural calls. Spring Web Services is a product of the Spring community for SOAP Web Services. Spring Web Services aims to facilitate contract-first SOAP service development. The product is based on Spring itself. People often use Spring after finding other alternative SOAP stacks lacking. Spring Web Services also follows the best practice of contract-first development and having a loose coupling between contract and implementation. This series of video tutorials is an introduction on how to get started with SOAP Web Services. For a detailed deep dive, you can refer to the original Spring Reference documentation provided on the links displayed in this slide. So what will we learn? Uh, first, we'll have a look at uh, the concept of the SOAP XML messages that comes from a client and goes to the servers, how these XML needs to be well defined according to the XML definition language or XSD, and how the XSD language are used to create the whistle for us. After that, we will have a look at how to create a Spring endpoint with everything that Spring Web Services provide for us. And in the final series of videos, we will install a SOAP test client, SOAP UI, and we will use it to test our application. Okay, let's have a look at the business problem. Let's say we work for a fictional insurance company selling insurance for a fictional product known as widgets. Yes, thank you, Rodney Dangerfield. We are going to build a SOAP service that accept the insurance contracts for widgets. And suddenly we found ourselves in the situation where the widget company is screaming at us. They are yelling, where are the whistle? We want to start coding. All right, let's look at our business problem in more detail. Why is the widget company screaming for a whistle? Well, the diagram helps us understand that a little bit better. The client is going to send us an XML document over HTTP. This document will confirm to a SOAP envelope specification. Our SOAP service will accept this XML insurance application document and return an acknowledged receipt in XML format that also confirm 
to the SOAP specification. Now, all of this will be specified in our whistle document, which means once the whistle is published, the client will know what they will have to send us and what XML document they will receive in acknowledgement. Okay, for our final overview, let's look at some questions first. How will we create and expose our SOAP endpoint? Second, how will the client connect with our SOAP endpoint? And third, what language will the client use? Okay, let's look at the answers to our overview questions. Number one. We will use Spring Web Services to define our SOAP endpoint. Spring Web Services will generate the whistle for us and automatically publish it to a public URL. Number two, in our case, the client will connect to our SOAP endpoint over HTTP. Number three, the client is free to use any language such as C Sharp or COBOL to interact with our SOAP web service. The XML that the client sends us simply has to conform to the whistle specification.